presenting my point of management of intertrochanteric fractures with lateral wall implications with a pfn that is two screw system the lateral wall sir has very nicely uh, defined but let uh, let me ascertain the boundaries are the superior extent the inferior extent the anterior and the posterior extent that is what is defined as a lateral wall now all of us are debating this topic very uh, uh, dear to our heart but we have to take into account this six parameters or five parameters the weight bearing stability provided the acceptable anchorage in osteoporotic bone because if that is not there lot of void no bone near healing potential whatever you compare would not be very um, real the protection of bone vascularity is really really important and possibility of dynamization big this area of bone quite often dynamizes with some collapse and then heals there are so many fixation choices that we are not debating in a young patient the healing is really very good so in this young patient with a lateral wall implication and a pfn the healing was exceptional and she healed very nicely but in a given patient we have to become experts in reading the lines on the cm by understanding this lateral wall concept so we have to realize all this in the coronal plane on our cm and in this patient the lateral wall was involved so in this the choice i preferred was a pfn this is the lateral wall of a cm it is important to realize if there is a, a, a coronal split then we have to prefer a intramedullary device and if there is a coronal split what we are uh, adding with a pfn is not displacing this we are making a entry point and then the fixation is provided in the neck if this area this coronal splits remain into position with the soft tissue tension a good reduction is the key the priority is obviously as said is the anatomic reduction and we need to understand three different views in our cm this is the internal rotation view this is internal rotation with flexion and this is the external rotation view why this is important let's see the fracture reduction is a four step technique which is very important for a pfn it is foot traction correct the posterior sac have some flexion and rotate 10 to 15 degrees internal rotation in a routine it fracture what happens with traction as baumgartner has said the traction on a well leg in a scissors position helps get into this position otherwise we will not be able to get into the entry point properly and this is how we would have a banana position that is very important in the reduction film itself we should not have any virus the point contact should be there and then the next thing i would like to emphasize is have a thigh support which is either autoclavable support so that the posterior sag is removed so that while reaming the channel you have a correct reduction this is the adjustable thigh support which i quite commonly use to avoid a sag this is our approach incision the entry point is really really emphasized for a pfn entry so i was not happy i wanted to go medially and how do we do it we can use a honeycomb targeter to get a entry point so this is what i wanted so on the inner side see this is the channel we want to create we don't want to rim externally so this is a slight medial entry point and this would lead to a slight lateral entry point and this is paramount in pfn as very nicely elucidated by dr shivshankar so precisely lateralized entry is what we don't want so this is what we don't want in a pfn if this is there that would lead to a bad result this is where the reamer has already lateralized so how do we keep uh, medializing this is with a bone uh, spike and the lateral entry point is also very very important this is the anterior trochanter and this is the posterior trochanter this is the entry point this is very well emphasized so neck control for precise entry point so get on to the medial side you may use a initial owl <coughs> get the varus corrected you may choose your entry point by a twin sleeve so that this should not be selected this is what i had selected get the reduction right and then is the most important thing of trajectory control so precise path for the nail through a solid bone so trajectory control is very important and i like to use this bone uh, right angle to keep the uh, reamer pushed in so that we don't lateralize you can see here the lateral wall implication is there but if your entry portal is very nice also you can use a channel reamer and we don't want to create a entry portal like this as suggested in the master series we want this part to be entry point and this is the channel reamer which also helps to keep it medially 
so this is very important the reamer should get the right entry and we use a anteromedial beak uh, sorry for the spelling mistake so beak this beak has to be kept reduced this is how the anterior liver reduces the beak and this is the sag which is corrected by the lifting up approach and various reduction tools to help correct the entry point look at this point a uh, density if this is there again that would be a negative reduction to be taken care of reduce varus and i'll be coming to the cases after this and traction before the proximal screw so in this position if screw is traction is given that would avoid a varus so take uh, traction at this point you can hold the zig and just give a valgus reduction this various reduction tools i'll be using for uh, reduction this was a comminuted fracture as dr kulkarni sir said the kyle's fracture even in this patient a pfn gave a reasonably good result i would totally agree there is amount of varus here but in a highly comminuted zone nothing was augmented in the lateral wall however the fracture went for good healing the patient was satisfied we really know that there is some amount of virus which i accepted simple addition of augmentation here comparing the surgeon try to augment the lateral wall see the augmentation but this augmentation did not help in preventing virus another case traction giving good reduction and fracture healing very nicely with a pfn without any further problems making the fracture wear a necklace like this does not help in any way in my view the most important thing is your reduction this necklace might hold the reduction temporarily but it really doesn't provide any force and see in this patient it has not given any effect see doing anything to the fracture is not an alternative to an anatomic reduction and addition of these loops or lateral wall recreation does not help and adding a a loop around the nail or around to the gt is something like fixing a wish thread the wish thread really did not help in this and obviously the reduction had a nazar lagge phenomena where it did not hold again reconstructing yes, the lateral wall just just uh, chandak yeah. all yes, the cases sir. you are sure earlier of wire fixation they are all wrongly done cases so yes yeah, yeah yes. it will uh, it's better not to discuss them we okay. can proceed okay. further absolutely yeah. absolutely yes, agree surgeon who is at fault not the yes. technique yes absolutely but this is what is the common phenomena which i have been observing you know, here the lateral wall fixation was done so lateral wall reconstructed pfn but not healing so that again did not heal patient went into non union this was a patient i am not showing the previous fixation because this patient uh, the surgeon requested sir that was that it. was not total lateral wall stabilization it was a uh, below lateral wall it has to yes. be reached to the, the tip of trochanter then and then you uh, get a complete lateral wall stabilization yes but this is what is being practiced as a lateral wall augmentation what i'm uh, what i'm debating no, is the uh, augmentation uh, of lateral wall it's the augmentation uh, okay. of lateral by various measures by various surgeons but this cannot that, be counted that, this cannot be counted yes, in yes, a ideal yes, uh, yeah, again, so, again not so, proceed so not not ideal augmentation yeah, and in this patient had after all that augmentation had bad serious uh, infection which is the biggest worry to me that a uh, uh, infection and with this with this opposition chandok yeah. with this people the position if you show that case they will they will obviously going to argue with you yes absolutely yeah. and what i am arguing is a common man i am arguing not in the best top of the hand see he is not whether, he is not he is not throwing googly ball he is throwing yeah. very easy balls yeah, yeah, yeah what i am arg <laughs> augmenting is this these are collection from various common orthopedic nah, studies nah, you, are, you are nah, nah, nah. no you no are no ideal really ideal 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 yeah. Yeah. Done, you are showing badly done, done operation yeah no no so, ideal uh, you are showing badly done case Yeah. Base so, surgeon, base implant, base placement, base reduction. Yes. Then we have discussed. Then I am coming to. to I am uh, coming to good. I am yeah. coming to good reduction, good stability. Navin no, Bhai. Yeah. So this this is a surgeon who thought lateral wall augmentation. You will see the good reduction, good stability, and and did not hold. So what is the neither there okay. was additional stability. If you can see the previous stability provided. So even so it's in virus. Chunda, this is in virus. Yeah. See, this is in virus. Right. So nail and yeah. a and a plate. This is not. Uh, Sir, yeah. but virus. Virus is, is, is not the only cause, Nabin. It is the osteoporosis also. 
so problem ah, yeah. so it, 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 the virus screw is very small it is yeah. a tissue destruction without stability yes yeah there are that two has things that to the infection that yeah. has lead to the infection chandak right. the next screws are not passed through the plate so yes. the plate is hold held by only small three screws from yes. the top which right. is in osteoporotic bone this cortical bones is not having any purchase right absolutely agreed sir but plate is uh, plate is either posterior or anterior to the screws okay perfect absolutely agreed so here what i'll be showing certain simple plain pfn in a lateral wall and leading to good union process where even lateral wall implicated comminution and i'll be seeing a series of x rays just to show that it does heal fracture with plain pfn without augmentation however minor amount of collapse minor amount of virus i would totally accept that is what is the general rule with pfn fixation so sir, even sir. Yes. shortening shortening and virus both pain yes. and limp limp Tandak, limp Tandak, sir yes please agree sir what is no, tandak sir may i interfere yeah. please what is the success rate or healing there is a two different varieties healing yes. and success in the treatment yes one if you do a skeletal traction and boot and bar 85% of them they are going to heal right but we are for the restoration of the anatomy healing is a no problem in a cancellous bone and i i am not cherry picking my cases of excellent healing i am showing general normal done pfn Okay, so okay. what continue. is yeah go what on, is happening what yeah so what is happening routinely so this fractures even with the lateral wall implication comminution they heal consolidate very well without augmentation of the lateral wall and it it works the pfn simple system works even when it is bilateral also yes i do agree pfns can fail and but when it fails without any augmentation without any biology loss we can always Uh, reconstruct the uh, reconstruct. Look at this intracapsular as well as extracapsular combination, comminuted zone. So in this patient, this is the traction view. What I would emphasize is, if we take care of the GT fragment and through that, if we are able to pass the nail, and if we would pass the nail through that GT fragment and hold with a PFN, that would work well without augmentation of the case. I if anyway, you did show the case. Uh, yeah, I I am showing the extra no. problem. Yes, yeah. we we cannot yeah. include that. Yeah, Next, yeah. okay. so friends what i would like to emphasize is augmentation whether it is really helping or not i have my own doubt so this was a patient without augmentation a similar uh, fracture with augmentation of the lateral wall and tension bands added on to the lateral side the healing was same without any much difference so what i am debating is augmentations versus no augmentation another case and and i will just show the series of x rays repeatedly so that so that even if there is some amount of displacement with a good anteromedial continuity that fracture would heal uh, uh, predictably this is another case where positive reduction healing all these cases would heal unequivocally the problem to me is this jutting out pfn and many times it causes abductor lurch and this commonly remains out this is a current problem to me with pfn with the modern system possibly that problem is less and in some patients in vidarbha with a short stretcher we need a sort of a nail which is lesser in this height so all these lateral wall defects with a good anterior medial contact they heal they heal fantastic uh, they provide a reasonable function this is a patient where the lady is very short and this was a uh, nail with a small stunted uh, part here uh, rpfn which was not giving uh, adductor lurch to this lady even in this bilateral patient we had used that rpfn so that the pfn is not hurting a positive reduction definitely helps what i would be presenting just a cases where uh, the uh, pfn gives a good healing friends all is not rosy in pfn many times this patient asked vehemently to get their implants out and these are the x rays after removal of this patient uh, um, pfn uh, previously when we evolved from jnp to a uh, sliding hip screw to pfn it did offer a lot of advantages the advantage is rapid healing and good consolidation on the medial side as compared to dhs this all rapidly ossifies that is one big advantage with pfn as you can see here if you can see the nail well and even in osteoporotic patient that healing is good uh, unnecessary augmentation to me is a recipe for disaster in two points one the biology is halted second 
the healing is not as optimal because the necessary amount of minor collapse required for all this patient in hip fracture does not heal well friends i would totally agree that lateral wall if when we are managing with a dhs it does need a augmentation the augmentation here is of not of lateral wall it is avoiding it is putting the buttress against the medialization of shaft and in this patient this is the same case uh, similar case as a jacobson's paper where i had used uh, tsp and avoided a further medialization in that patient it was infection also so I added a bone cement we may need all this um, tsps to take care of the lateralization and to help some modification in tsp also help in Dr. this case conduct let us stick to pfn yes i i will last conclude with pfn sir so this was augmentation with the dhs in a fragile bone this was so my key to success for a pfn would be anteromedial stability we need to avoid proximal extension into uh, the entry point where the fracture is there and if it is there we hold the wire nicely avoid lateralization we prevent separation and varus during insertion of the nail avoid unnecessary augmentation if it is not required preserve the biology is my main contention to get a good result with pfn uh, that is what i would like to say for pfn thank you sir thank you very much